Hello there! Welcome to Sound of Free. I am Tuomas and if you are new here, please remember to subscribe. I am trying to get this channel up to 1000 subscribers, so I would be very thankful if you would subscribe and uh, follow my incredible journey on this channel to become a decent YouTube content creator. Okay, so let's get to the topic of this video right now and forget all about that nonsense. It's 2019 and you have a lot of DVDs or CDs and you do not know what to do with them. You do not want to keep them on that horrible shelf on your living room. You want them out of your bedroom. You want them out of your sight, but you don't want to throw them in the trash. Nobody wants to buy them because they don't really add up to anything. Uh, you've probably been collecting that collection of movies or albums for maybe even 10 years or more. So, what should you do? I had that problem for many years. I haven't really bought any new uh, movies, maybe like uh, one movie per year uh, for the last five years. Uh, mostly I just collected the stuff that I wanted to collect when I was a teenager. I collected over 1000 discs of TV shows, box sets, uh, big box sets, uh, films, classics, everything. I have and had and have a lot of films and a little bit of D uh, CDs, musical albums. Uh, and I thought for years what should I do with them because it was always a hassle when I moved and I didn't know where to put them and uh, they ended up in, th in these uh, brown uh, carton boxes, cardboard boxes and uh, I kept them in the cellar I kept them under the bed, I kept them wherever and uh, always uh, the moving and the whole thing, it was just useless. You never look the films if they are in the box, boxes, you know, in the moving boxes. You'll never end up, you know, digging them up. If you want to see a film that you have, you know you have it, but you don't know where it is because it's just in some random box. You're never gonna open up that box and look for it. So that was a problem. And I thought for a long time that maybe I should just give them up, sell them, whatever. Uh, but then I came up with an excellent genius idea that I have not heard anybody uh, talk about ever. So what is my idea? So you probably remember these. Or you don't, whatever. But this is basically... Uh, CD slash DVD case and it has this flippy uh, plastic uh, sleeves where you can put the discs and you have these soft versions and aluminium versions and all kinds of versions this is basically like a DJ case a very small DJ case and I think this cost maybe like less than 10 euros and it fits I don't know, maybe 20 or 40 uh, discs. So you, we have these, all right. But obviously if you have like over a thousand discs like I had, this is useless. So don't worry, we have a solution. And it's right over here. This thing holds up 400 discs, 400 discs, both CDs, DVDs and Blu-rays. So I will show you, let's open this up. It has a zipper and this is not a uh, sponsored video. Uh, this brand is Media Range uh, brand, but probably there are a lot of companies that sell these things. This thing cost I think about 20 euros, 20 or 30 euros probably. 
and uh, it's uh, thick uh, leather. You open this thing up, and uh, it's kind of tricky to show you, but it starts off with David Lynch films, and uh, there's a place for eraser head if you wonder why it's empty. And as you can see, it's filled with films. And this is the secret. And let me show you. This thing has... I did this archival thing, maybe you can see it. But every disc has a slot with a code. It starts off with a letter and then there's a number. And they are all numbered. And the letter is because I have three of these. Three of these cases or uh, big disc wallets and <clears throat> every case has a different letter this is a then i have b and then there's c you probably guessed it right uh, and then the numbers go from one to four hundred let's put that down and then i have here a book and this is still empty but my idea is to uh, write all the codes over here A1, A2, A3 and what film uh, that is and uh, then at the end of the day when this thing is ready I don't have to go through with those huge cases to search for a film I can just take this book open it up and uh, I can uh, arrange the films in uh, different genres. I could even do it digitally, so it would be even more easier to make different type of lists. Uh, but I'm not that hardcore. It's enough for me that I have them here. So that will help a lot. And then, mm, you probably wonder what did I do with the empty cases? Well, I did not throw them into trash. I have them in the cellar in those brown cardboard moving boxes and I didn't just dump them there uh, I arranged them uh, thinking about those numbers you know the the codes they ha they have been arranged uh, with those codes and the boxes have the numbers and the codes so uh, if I want to find a certain case I will find it in like a minute or 30 seconds because the box has the codes on its sides, side rhythm, so I can just open it up and I know that the case is in that certain box. So, pretty simple. I have been very happy with this solution. Now I can fit all my movies in like space of like this size, like literally like a tiny space. I can put them anywhere. They look very nice uh, and uh, I'm just amazed <laughs> of this uh, invention that I did. I have no idea if others have uh, done this before me. If you have, please write a comment down. Uh, have you been happy with this solution? Or is there any um, things that you would do differently? Or have done differently? Uh, what do you think about my uh, system here? Would you uh, do this? Are you going to do this? I think this is very, uh, I can recommend this very highly. I think it's a very good way to store your discs. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again on the next one. Take care. Bye bye.